Hi, my name is Karen Benton and I am with Limitless Living and welcome to our newsletter for May. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about the importance of learning how the body's designed. So Franklin Method is not just another exercise regime and another exercise uh, technique, but rather Franklin Method is really important for uh, changing the way we approach movement and enhancing our movement with incredible skills like imagery. And part of imagery is learning how the body's designed. And the question I want to pose to you is why is it important to learn how the body's designed? Why? Why put the time into that, right? Why? You know, I'm not a yoga instructor. I'm not a nurse. I don't use this. What's the importance of this? And the answer to the question is because you will learn to use your body more efficiently. Right? We have a shelf life for our body and our, our body lasts as long as it can. But if we use that body with more ease and in a way that enhances longevity, we're going to get more out of it. And learning and imaging how the body's designed is a key piece in making it last longer. So for example, we have the spine right here. Yeah? It's this incredible masterpiece. Did you know that it has over, if you include where the ribs are attached, it has over 150 joints. That is 150 opportunities for movement. And why is movement important? Because joints don't get nourishment unless they are moving, right? Unless we engage in movement, our joints actually do not get nourishment. There is no circulation or heart pump that is going to the joints. We need movement in order to nourish them and to help move out toxins and all of that. So my question for you today is, have you moved all 150 joints in your spine today? And what ends up happening is we unknowingly engage in similar behavior and patterns. And then we carry those patterns to the exercise regimes. And often we go into class and we're just doing what we're told rather than having an internal understanding of all the different ways the spine can move and making sure that we on our own accord are following our incredible capacity to move all those joints. So in effort to explore this benefit, I want to invite you to move your spine randomly in random versatile movements, turning and spontaneous movement. Studies have shown in back pain in particular, random spontaneous unplanned movement is incredibly important for healing and strengthening and improving the flexibility of the spine. And if you notice in the older population, that's one of the things that tends to shut down, right? You see that they might have a posture where they don't move as much or when they walk, there's not as much fluidity to, you know, people that are in their nineties or older, or sometimes it's happening in even the younger generation. So I'm going to invite you to just go about randomly moving your spine. And as you're thinking about this, I want you to imagine that your spine is like a snake and it's just moving and you can even move and change, right? Go to one position and then another and turn around, bend down, reach up, twist to the side, take a step over, laterally bend, twist to the side, all sorts of random motions. And then after you've done that for about, you can set your timer for three minutes, take a moment to notice how you feel afterward. It's a very important step in the Franklin Method is noticing the changes in your body. You might notice that you feel more upright. Maybe your mood has even lifted. There's a sense of ease in the body. When we just engage in random acts of movement, we wake up the spine and it becomes available to us and it sends information to the brain that helps us to navigate movement. Join us for the next spine workshop if you want to learn the spine dance where we, are learn, where we learn a technique that helps us move all 150 joints as well as doing tension release with balls and banding and we get into the mental and psychological aspects of back pain and how to move that through with more ease. I look forward to meeting you. Thank you. See you soon.